Hello, everyone who is here. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes before I get started. Please do forgive the quality of this video. I'm forced to use my, um, my webcam rather than my, uh, my mobile camera because of my subscriber count has not gone up yet. Gonna give it about one more minute before I get started. How is everyone doing? Let me know how you're doing in the chat. Hey, Martine. Hey, Petty Nation kid. Zimmy. I'm posting this. I'm reading y'all's messages on my phone. <laughs> good, good, good. Gonna give it a couple more minutes for people to start trickling in here and we're gonna get started. Hey, Danny. Hey, Brian. Nova Kane. What's up, girl? Latasha. Zimmy, my boy. Yeah, it is blurry because um, it's my the webcam from my laptop versus the camera that I normally use for recording because it's on my mobile device. I know, guys, we get these subscribers up then we'll have a better quality video. Yes, definitely. K Nicole, what's up, y'all? K Nicole's from my hometown. Y'all show her some love. Thanks so much. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. So from the title, I am doing a product review um, on the company Art of the Root on their candles and their oils, because those are the two products that I have used. I have been using Art of the Root products for about um, a year now, and they are stirring up quite a buzz and they're becoming very popular. So I decided to go ahead and share my experience not only with the company but um my results with their products this is not a sponsored video this is something that i'm just doing because these things work for me and i figured that some of you could use them as well also um i am going to be giving you a very simple road opener that you can do using their products so after I review what we have here, I'm going to do the road opener. And then at the end, if you have questions about any of them, we're going to um, do a quick question and answer session at the end. Anyone coming in after the fact, after we go live and you're seeing it after the fact, before putting questions in the comments, just watch the video in its entirety, please. Or fast forward to the end for the question and answers, because I'm sure someone else may have had the same question. All right. So I'm going to start with um, their oils that I have already used. This first one, the first one that I have is the Forget Me Not. OK, try to focus that in there, guys. All right. I know the camera's blurry, but please bear with me. And I have their Attraction Oil. OK, their Forget Me Not I used first. And this is one that um, you can either wear it or you can use in any type of working. This is um, made for when you are wanting to be remembered. So I recommend and suggest that if you're going on a job interview or some sort of networking event in which you want people to remember you, 
wear the forget me not oil. Also, if you are dating or seeing someone who is long distance, wearing this while being with them, it's going to kind of help your them think of you when you're not around. And as you can see, they have all kinds of goodies still floating around in there. They smell amazing. This forget me not to me smells the best out of any of the ones that I have tried. Um, it's very light. It's very light and clean. It smells like you just got out the shower. The attraction oil, I have used more of it than anything. Um, it's, it's down to here now. A lot goes a very long way, <laughs> okay? Because again, they do all have a fragrance. So be careful with that. The attraction to me is one of the most universal ones because anything that you are wanting to draw or attract to you, you can use that attraction oil, okay? And y'all, I know, like I said, we are working with, there we go. We are working with low quality cameras, so bear with me there. For the candles that I've used, I, I'm actually currently working on a prosperity work for myself. I purchased one of their sets. Oh yeah, these oils are $7.50 a piece. They're $7.50 a piece. You can order them from the website or Amazon, which is where I got mine. And I love Amazon because I can just go back and click reorder whenever I'm out of anything and I need more supplies. All right. So back to the candles, what I was saying on the candles. Um, I did one of their money sets that came in a set. So when it was packaged, it came in a box like this. Really cute. And I've already completed the first candle and it was a good fortune candle. This is what their, let's see, what their label looks like. This is the good fortune candle. Um, they come already dressed. So you do not need to add any oils or herbs or anything to it unless you just absolutely want to. It's not necessary. Um, these are soy candles, so they burn very evenly and clean. So this one has been completed and that's the bottom of that. You can still see some of the herbs in there where all the wax had burned off. And the second candle that I was working on is their money drawing candle. This one, it kind of smells like Christmas time. <laughs> It smells like Christmas, um, but this one is almost done burning. You can see like there's only a little bit left and it does burn very even and smooth. The soy candles burn a lot better than the um, regular paraffin wax candles do, in my opinion. That's just me. The Good Fortune one smells pretty good, too. Um. All of these have very um, fall scents, these two. They, if you're looking for just a good fall candle and you're not intending on using it for what it was made for, just the smell alone, I would still recommend you buying them. These jar candles are $12.99. I love the jar candles because they look just like any other candle. So if you're worried about people coming to your house and being nosy and wondering why are you burning this candle, they're really not going to pay attention to it because it looks like any other candle that I burn. It looks very similar to my Victoria's Secret and my Bath and Body Works candles with the jars. Um, the third one, and, and this I did. This is not any order as far as these candles. I just chose from my own intuition what order to burn them in. The third one in the set was the Abundance candle. Okay. That abundance candle. And this one, um, it smells kind of citrus like. And this one, um, it looks a little funky inside because I let it melt a little bit. I left it in my windowsill one night. I just kind of placed it there and forgot. And so I live in Florida. So this Florida heat, it, <laughs> it melts it a little bit of the candle, but it'll be fine. And you can see that it is already 
dress. It has herbs already in it. It already has essential oils in it. So you do not need to add any of that stuff. All right. All right. So um, what are what we're yes, Brian, you're the only guy. Thank you so much. And Zemi, you and Zemi are the only two men. Um, those oils smell very feminine. So be careful <laughs> if you want to use that. The forget me not oil, though, Brian, like I said, it smells very clean. So you're just going to smell like you took a shower if you wear that one. That one's not too bad. But the other, um, the attraction, and I've also used their follow me oil. It smells kind of, kind of fruity. So in their packaging, they sent all of their all, um, $12.99, if I didn't mention, on those jar candles. They do have the taller seven-day candles for $22, roundabout. I'm not sure if it's like $20.99 or $22.99, but it's around that area. Um, they ship very quickly. I'm very impressed with them, and this is why I love them. They ship everything priority mail. And I ordered this package on Friday the 4th, and it was in my mailbox this past Tuesday on the 8th. So they are very quick, and they take a lot of pride and time in packaging their products. So with this one, I ordered some more oils and candles. I have a second box as well, another um, triple set. But in this one, I believe it's just going to be two of my, uh, nope, it is one of my triple sets. Okay. So inside, this is like a triple set, just like that money one that I told you about. So they have like all this nice packaging in here so the box doesn't move around. And they come in a nice box with packaging so you can reuse this. Okay. I keep mine and I reuse it and I send stuff to my mom and whoever. Oh my God, Petey. Hey, y'all, that's my brother. <laughs> Check him out, guys. Ladies, don't be trying to flirt with my brother. He is spoken for. <laughs> this little bro showing some love. All right. So on this set, they give you all this cute little fancy stuff inside. I'm going to dust this off so I don't make a mess. Okay. I thought you, Brent, okay, so y'all, that's not my brother, Petey. That's my brother, Brandon. It's Petty Nation. <laughs> He's also spoken for, even though he don't want to admit it. <laughs> All right, so they wrap the candles up really, really tight. Really, really tight. Look at this, y'all. No broken candles, okay? I know with some other companies, I've had issues where you get the candles and the jars are cracked. The glass is cracked when you do it. This is the um, Come To Me candle. This is part of a love set that I am doing for a customer. And as you can see, it does come dressed just like the others. It also has a very clean smell to it. So even though it's pink, it smells kind of like um, lotion or um, shower gel or something. Real, real fresh, clean scent. <laughs> Brian, they're for anybody. All of this, anybody could use. Just with the oils, if you're wearing them, um, some of them smell a little more 
uh, fruity than others. So for a neutral smell, the forget me not has a very clean scent to it. All right. This other one, this is a follow me boy. I'm not sure what order I will burn these for her yet. I have to do her reading soon. This one, follow me, boy. I definitely do not recommend for men unless you're trying to get a man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it is what it is, right? And on this third one, I believe is love and attraction, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is the love and attraction. This one I've only used once. Um, and with the uh, forget me not, I used the love and attraction. Let's see if we get that in there with the forget me not. Um, at the time when I purchased this, I was seeing someone long distance and I burned the love and attraction while wearing the forget me not. And it, it was a good night, <laughs> to say the least. Love and attraction has is neutral. Love and attraction is a neutral smell. So, so far, as far as the love candles, Brian, um, only the follow me boy smells a little fruity as far as the scents goes. And all of these candles also have um, the oils to go with them as well. So for this one, I would do, I would start with the love and attraction first and this one. And then I'm not sure about the other two yet as far as what order I would burn them. But there, I bought some uh, more oils that I want to open because I'm not sure how they're going to smell. And this one is a much larger box for some reason. I don't know why. Because what I, the other things that I ordered, I only ordered two more candles and then um, a couple of oils. So not sure with large box, but again. You can reuse these things because they are in good condition. They're not all beat up when you get them. And they come with all the nice little packaging inside. So you can reuse that stuff as well. Okay. So this one also... has all of the the stuff inside to keep it from slipping and sliding and moving around. Y'all. <laughs> oh my God. It's like so much stuff in here. Okay, so this was a set of three oils. So individually, these things are seven, um, $7.50. But this set, it was um, designed for money and prosperity and good fortune and that sort of thing. This was $15.99 for the three. Okay, so that's definitely a good buy because if you buy two of these things separately, it's going to be $15. And on the um, set of candles, the set of three was $29.99. So it either $12.99 a piece or $29.99 for the set. And so it comes in this cute little uh, mesh, little baggie with the same pink confetti stuff. And they bubble wrap all of the oil when you get them, whether it's single or in a set like this, they all come wrapped. So let's crack these suckers open because I am itching to use these. <laughs> we can all use some uh, good fortune, huh? 
All right, so this one is a wealthy whey oil. Okay, and this is to draw wealth to you. Any work instead are you that you are doing for business or any type of project that you want to bring a lot of business to you and money to you, I would say this one. This one smells kind of spicy. So this could, I wouldn't, maybe if you were like those of you who gamble or go to the casino, I would probably like rub my hands down with this or the, um, there's a King Midas oil in here too and a money drawing oil. Okay, this is the money drawing oil. And they have like all the, the stuff in there. It's not really moving much. The money drawing all smells a lot like the candle. Smells like Christmas. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that one, but it, it smells like um, those pine or evergreen candles you get out the store. I love those. So I recommend that irregardless if you're trying to bring money to you, who's going to turn money away, right? Or if you just like the scent, I do recommend that for the fall. And this one is the King Midas oil, y'all. And this one. Uh, oh, I like this one. I really like this one. This one. Um. Uh, It smells more feminine than mas masculine, even though it does say King Midas oil. But I, I would wear this. Um, Brian, I uh, will get to that in a second. I want to. I have two more candles to unbox, and then after I do the road opener working, I will answer all questions because I'm sure all of you have them because we um, this company is very popular and a lot of people want to order from them, but they're not sure whether or not they should. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, they should. With the candle, I bought a, uh, a self-love candle that I absolutely adore. Now the difference with um, these, these next two candles, they're not like these in that you use them for um, uh, workings. These others are more so a um, affirmation candles. So I can get through all of this packaging guys. Okay, yeah, this, so this is what the affirmation candles look like. So you can see the labels are slightly different. And on the bottom, they have an affirmation for you. So when you're like praying and meditating, the affirmation for this one says, uh, I am worthy and deserving. Okay. And this one is also a clean smell. It melted a little bit, so I'm not going to tilt it too much, but there are actually crystals and herbs in this one. And you can kind of like some of the wax has melted from it sitting in the mailbox today. This other one is a... I believe it's manifestation, but... We're going to find out when I get it open. Yeah, this one is a manifestation candle. So it's also um, an affirmation. And this one says, my dreams are now my reality. On this one. And this one. It smells like orange sherbet. It smells like candy. And this one, it's, it's melted quite a bit, but it also has the crystals in it. I'm not going to do that one because I don't want to spill wax everywhere. 
But if you all have something to write with or your phone handy where you can type some of this stuff in, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I did for my road opener. Now, those of you who do not know what a road opener is, a road opener is a ritual that clears any blockages in your life. It clears your pathways, your roads. It opens your roads up. So it doesn't necessarily bring anything to you, but it clears anything that may be in your way, stopping you from getting the things that you want or the things that you want to come to you. All right, I'm going to give y'all a minute. Let me know when you're ready. And when I decided to do this, it was at the beginning of the year. And I was at a point in my life where I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was tired of my job. I was tired of um, living paycheck to paycheck. I was tired of uh, people not being who they say they were. Um, people using me, people taking advantage of me, not being there for me. So when I decided to do this, I was like, that's it. OK. And when you do any type of ritual of any kind, the first thing you have to do is make sure that you are in a line with what it is you are trying to accomplish. OK. You cannot go into this stressed, de-stressed or anything like that. You have to be clear and know that whatever you're asking for, you deserve it. Okay. So the products that I used, I actually did use Art of the Root products when doing this. I purchased their road opener candle and it was also one of these jar candles. It was very similar in color to this abundance candle. It was a, a orangey color. And it kind of smelled a mix between citrus and, and cinnamon. It's the way that one smelled. And I actually, I have my journal. All of you that are on your spiritual journey, you know, I always recommend getting your journal. So this is one of mine. And I performed this on January the 6th. Okay. So I'm going to read you guys. The prayer that I pray, oh, before I get into that, let me backtrack. The morning that I decided to do the road opener, I meditated for a long time, for a really long time. It, whenever you feel that you're ready, then start your work. But I meditated first. Always start with meditation. If you can get a reading or read divine or read for yourself, do that so that you know what you need to do, how you need to do it. I meditated. And I played music. The song that I played was Victory by Yolanda Adams. And I played that and other songs. I can't remember all of them. Um, but Every Mountain by Kirk Carr was another song. The others I can't remember right offhand, but those were the two main ones. Hey, Nix. Those were the two main songs that I prayed and I meditated. And I, as I was listening to the music, I wrote the prayer that I was going to use for my ritual. Okay. And the prayer that I wrote, it says, Oh, blessed eternal father. I ask you right now to please help me to gain influence to obtain success in all subjects of my life and to smooth all difficulties that are in my way. I invoke the aid of the Holy Spirit so that my house prospers and whatever it is that you need to happen in your life, you put, you say that there, you say it out loud, you speak it with authority as though it is supposed to be here. You call it in. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Don't be timid. Hey, musical mood ring. So you insert whatever it is that you're needing to happen at that point. Okay. And after that, I put. Um, 
Okay, so that my house prospers, blah, blah, blah. And I receive a message of good luck sent by the divine providence. Oh, great and powerful God, I implore your supreme majesty so that you separate me from danger at the precise moment that my way is illuminated by the light of fortune and love. I shall receive the infinite blessing of good health, wealth, and love. I believe in Jesus's all-powerful name, amen. And of course, if you are not a Christian, you can insert whoever it is you're praying to there as well. We cater to everybody. The scripture that I used was Isaiah 49 and 11. And I thought I had that pulled up, but I didn't. Hold on. Let's pull that up so I can read that for you. Isaiah 49 and 11 is the scripture. And I'm going to read that to you guys. This is the New King James Version. And it reads, I will make each of my mountains a road and my highways shall be elevated. Yes, I will, Danny. I, I will do that. I will type the prayer in the um, scripture after this post. Um, for this, it is not necessary, but I did write a petition as well with all of the things that I prayed in my prayer that I needed to come to me. Okay. Personally, I don't mind telling you uh, um, I was looking for new money making opportunities, new streams of income. I asked for um, friends to be gone who are not really my friends. I asked for the people who were supposed to be in my life that their way be cleared so that they we can find each other. And um, also for my love life, my dating life to actually exist because <laughs> it was non-existent before that I had done this. And when I tell you I did this road opener the next day, I had a new partner for my company. I had paperwork that I needed to go through at my nine to five job, it went through. So pay increase there. And two weeks after that, I began actively dating someone who is actually still in my life. We're still dating. So is it going to happen that quickly for you? It's hit and miss. But when I tell you what I feel made it work so quickly, is that I was ready. I was if no more of the bull crap. I said no more. That was it. So y'all, that's a simple road opener that you can do. And if you don't have the candle or the um or the oil, because with the attraction oil, I um, anointed my petition with the attraction oil and I used their road opener candle to do this. All right, so we will open the floor up for any questions. Brian, I will get to you. I know you um, asked about what, about your lady. Like right now, um, if she's anything like me, she's going to be looking for candles that are very um, fall oriented. So any of the ones that are green, if you go on their uh, website, I would recommend this money drawing and the good fortune would be good ones for fall. If she likes clean smells, the uh, love and attraction, the self love would be two good ones. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you for being here and sticking it out with me this long.
Yes. Oh, it's okay, Faith. We're um we're question and answer now. I've already opened up all my packages that came in. Yes, guys, hit that like button because I'm trying to get my subscribers up. I'm gonna have to invest in a better webcam because the one on the laptop, it this ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna have to start doing more lives. All right, Martine says, what's the the throw on the candles? What what do you mean, Martine? The self-love one, um, yes, okay, I got you, because <laughs> I'm like, the what? Yes, so um, they actually smell better burning. Yes, thank y'all for clearing it up, because I was lost. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the scents actually do project throughout your house. And they are very pleasant scents. So. Now, some of the ones that... um that are more light and clean. Um, they're not really that strong, but you that you can smell it throughout the room. I burn it in my living room on my altar and it you can smell it. Like when I walk into the house, like if I step outside and come back in, you can definitely tell it's a candle burning. And they smell amazing. <laughs> Yep, and even these oils, guys, if y'all have an um, oil diffuser, I would recommend these as well. If you don't want to fool with the candles, the oils smell great as well. All right, any other questions about the products, about the company, the road opener? All right. Well, if everyone is content and no problem, seek wisdom, no worries. It will stay up and post it. So those of you who may need to go back and, you know, get that road opener, the prayer, you can go back and do that. But I will put um, what I did. I will type that. The name of the company is Art of the Root. Art of the Root. R-O-O-T. Yep, you can order straight from the site um, or from Amazon. But you get your shipment very quickly. They send it priority mail. All right, I'm trying to scroll up to see if I missed any other questions. All right, I think that. Yep. Yep. I've been using them on uh, faith. I've been using art of the root for almost two years. Long time. And, and I, I don't use a lot of crap because usually for my candles, I, I buy my candles from the grocery store. <laughs> All 
but these are very well made and they are effective. All right. Well, if all hearts and minds are satisfied, <laughs> um, I have not set a day yet. I think Thursdays is probably going to be the best, um, either Tuesday or Thursday, because um, some Thursdays I teach tarot class. So if I don't have. Yes, Martin Dollar Store. It don't take all of that. And those um, like the glass in case, like what would be considered seven day candles, get them things for a dollar. Like I got my last. My last trip for candles, they were a dollar ninety nine, I believe. Yeah, you have to be careful with those. Like you can tell if like if you get them and the wax looks kind of ashy looking. <laughs> if it looks kind of ashy, it's not going to burn well. And make sure that the wick is trimmed because on those I've got them in the wick is like three inches long for some reason. Yep, they norm I know they keep the white ones in stock. And I I heard from Danny that they just got the black ones in. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if there is nothing else, guys, no other questions about Art of the Root or anything that I covered, we're gonna go ahead and shut this thing out. My cash app, I will type that in the chat. It's also in the description as well if anyone comes in later. That is it. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. The tarot deck that I use, Seek Wisdom, is um, the Gilded Tarot. But get whichever one you're drawn to. It doesn't matter. The illustrations are slightly different and the coloring is slightly different, but they are all the same. The writer rate is the most common, but I, I use the gilded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I only have the two tarot decks. I um use the gilded and I use the um the angel tarot. And I honestly just bought those because I thought they were pretty. <laughs> Nothing more. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to end this. It's been right under 45 minutes. So I think that is success for my first live. I didn't run over. <laughs> yep, I haven't tried that one, Faith. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. If any of you are not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, we're going to go ahead and end it, all right? If y'all think of questions later, just put them in the comments and I will um, 
and I will answer them. And seek wisdom. Thank you so much. I will do that. All right, y'all. Love you. Have a good night.